All right, looking at our weather, of course, today, beautiful day, completely different feel, but just going into what we saw last night. First of all, the National Weather Service, as you heard, did issue a preliminary sort of early look at what the tornado rating was for Araby, and they say at least EF3. What does that mean? We'll get into that in a second, but that is the one, of course, with the one fatality. EF3 corresponds to roughly up to 150, 160 mile per hour winds. And this is the rotation path, by the way, from last night in the 7 o'clock hour where there was damage in Gretna, Araby, into New Orleans East. The National Weather Survey team, by the way, is assessing damage now, like you heard from over in Araby. So we'll get you their official report, their preliminary report, of course, as soon as it's available. Over in St. Tammany Parish, they did issue their survey. They finished their survey and issued their preliminary report. They said that this one was an EF1 with estimated winds of 90 miles per hour and a 12-mile path starting around Big Branch Marsh uh, Wildlife National Wildlife Refuge near 190 and moving up across I-12 and to Highway 36. And so this was yesterday at 7.25 p.m. Most of the damage with this one was trees snapped, some damage to some sheds and things like that, but no injuries and no fatalities with that one. What is all this based on, by the way? It's based on the enhanced Fujita scale developed by a great meteorologist uh, many years ago and then enhanced or kind of redeveloped for the enhanced Fujita scale in 2007, and it gives it a rating based on the wind speed and based on the damage. So we don't clock the wind speed and give it a rating. It's based on damage that corresponds to the wind speed. So a few details on that again, started in 2007 to improve on what was a much simpler scale developed by Dr. Fujita. It's used to enhance the tornado or to issue the tornado rating based on the estimated wind speed and corresponding to the damage. There's a long list of 28 different damage indicators with very specific things, an old shed, uh, a high rise or a mid rise or a low rise building, even an automobile showroom. These are different categories on this list of indicators. So it's more specific and the idea is to be able to s to look at a structure and as you heard, whether it's old, whether it's in good shape, bad shape, something brand new, something really built strong and et cetera. So it's meant to give it a better uh, estimate of what those winds were. Here were the storm reports, by the way, the ones from Araby and St. Bernard Parish and this one in St. Tammany Parish. And we are, of course, thinking back to 2007 with the New Orleans East tornado, where that one was an EF3 with wind speeds estimated from the damage there of 150 miles per hour. More than 600 homes, of course, with that one, we remember from five years ago, were damaged or destroyed. Getting into our weather for today, looking beautiful. The system is pulling off to the east. Beautiful blue skies. Breezy today, though, and winds won't slack off likely until this evening and tonight. And then a lovely stretch of quiet weather for cleanup efforts as we get into the next seven days.